What's up ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be learning how to make the Great Parametric Wall of China. Before we begin part 1, I want to ask you to please hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me to keep making these videos. So to start, we will make our Rhino elements. First we will make our terrain, so let's go in here actually going to turn on grid snap for this one and let's bring out a terrain like this push it uh, place it at the extremities like that okay next up let's rebuild and we can keep it at a value of, of, of about six that should do perfectly let's turn on our points uh, here you can select these at uh, at uh, random so however you feel they will look best and then we can push them upwards to create this very interesting looking terrain. I'm gonna bring this one up here and I'm gonna bring this one down slightly to give it a bit more of a variety. Next up let's move to our top view and uh, we need we wanted we want to draw a curve. I'm gonna draw it in like this. Make sure you uh, keep it inside our terrain, okay, like that. Let's go back into our perspective view and let's bring it up here to make sure it remains visible. Next, let's go to the side and make our turret. So I'm going to start off with a box. I'm going to go for 10 by 10 by 10 meters like that. Let's push it a bit out here. Next up let's make a rectangle. So let's bring it to uh, here. Let's make an offset of about 0.5. We can delete the uh, outer curve. And now let's select this one and let's make an extrude of about 1.5. Delete that curve. Let's cap this. And now we can make a boolean difference to get our uh, turret's top. Now we need to make our uh, battlements here, so let's bring this to about, I'm gonna put this at one meter uh, high. Uh, and now to make the array, let's make a curve, let's bring it over here. Now let's make an, an array curve, array curve. Let's select our curve. Let's place in a number such as 10 and, cl and click Array. We can now delete this uh, curve. Let's select all of our uh, mini towers and let's make a scale 1D in order, in order to bring them back into our tower, like that. We can select all of these again. Let's make a mirror, go to the midpoint, we can do it like this. Now let's select all of these in, in here and let's make another mirror. This time we, uh, we want to make it from, from this point here to this one here. And we, we, we can make the same thing on this side, like that. Okay, nice. Now we need, now we need to make our uh, passageway and to do this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw, draw in a circle. I'm gonna give it a radius of about uh, two meters. I'm going to rotate this at 90 degrees and I'm gonna push it up at about uh, two meters as well. Mm, actually, a bit more, so one more meter, like that. Now we can place in two lines that go downwards like this. Let's trim this circle, so let's select our two lines first and then let's trim the bottom part. Select them completely and press join. Now let's make an extrude curve. Let's bring it to, to, the, to the other side of course now we need we need a base and we can just go oops we can just go into here and let's select 
rectangular plane corner to uh, corner like that let's let's select that let's select our previous extr extrusion and click a control join and then cap okay look looking good now boolean difference hold on oh it's not centered let's bring this to the center so like that and now we can make our boolean difference Okay, nice. Let's just make a few, uh, a few, a few windows here. So, same process. Let's place it here on the mid, on the midpoint again. I want to make this one slightly smaller. Let's rotate this one 90 degrees. Let's push it up at about here. And uh, actually, I want to make this one a little bit smaller. I'm gonna turn off grid snap. Like that should do the trick. Bring in lines like this. I'm gonna place this one at about one meter point five. Enter. And uh, let's mirror this one. Like that. Okay. Let's make yet another line. So this and now we can definitely trim these so one two and then let's trim the bottom part of our circle let's join these together uh, let's make a copy of this to to the side so let's place it at about here and now we can make a mirror of this silhouette to the other side Okay, good. Select them all, make an extrude curve to, to the other side. We can delete these now. Let's select them again and select our, our main uh, tower. Let's make a cap and now go for boolean difference. Okay, and that's how we make our main turret. And now let's make our battlements. So let's switch to top view. Um, and now I'm gonna place in a line here at about, let's say, six meters. Like that. Okay. And now I'm gonna bring it up to here to about two meters. I'm gonna place in uh, 0.5. Uh, now I want, I'm going to turn off grid snap and turn on the, the ortho gonna bring this to I'm gonna put it at 1.8 actually 1.7 okay click it there and uh, now I'm gonna bring it over over here to about five bring it up until it it uh, matches the other side and then make uh, I mean click close okay nice Let's make an extra an, an extra line here up to the to the midpoint. Then let's push it all the way up here. And then connect it back in. And now let's make a mirror of this. Like that. And of course a trim. So let, let's select everything here. Let's trim these inner lines here. And now let's join them all to, together like so. Let's go back into our perspective view, make a rotate 3D, use this line as our axis. I'm gonna bring it up like this. Now I will extrude it to to about three. Yeah, three, three looks nice. I'm gonna make a uh, cap here. And uh, I'm gonna make a cube that's uh, one meter by one meter by one meter by one meter, basically a one meter cube. And uh, gonna bring it to the center. Bring it a little, a little bit inside. And since this is about two meters high, by bring, oh, by bringing it up, by bringing it up one meter. 
yeah, that should work perfectly. Let's make yet another mirror here, and let's go from this midpoint to uh, this one here. And now let's make a, bo a boolean difference like so. Okay, and that's how we set up our uh, battlements. Going into Grasshopper, let's start off by placing in a curve and assigning it to our floating curve here. And also a brep to house our terrain. Gonna join these together, name them inputs. Now the first thing we we want to add in are control points, in which we then add in our curve, therefore revealing our points. Uh, we want to get ourselves also a project point. Let's project them all onto our surface, like this. Okay, and also let's make a project curve here. Add in our curve, add in our rep as well, like that. Let's, let's get ourselves a closest, closest curve to point. Placing our point, placing our curve. And now we also want to add in a move geometry here. Place in a Z value, place in our projected curve, and I'm gonna I'm gonna add, add in a max value of about 100 on our number slider. However, I will push this down to about 10. Okay, and this will help us determine the height of our wall. Next up, we need to get ourselves a uh, horizontal horizontal frame. Let's add in our curve and the parameter from our point. Okay, these these will serve as the uh, basis for our turrets. And of course, let's group these up. I'm gonna name these uh, turret positions. Moving on. Let's set up a rectangle, place our frames into the plane, and now let's place in a construct domain. And we want to add in an expression here. So in the top value, we want to place in x slash 2, and in the bottom value of the domain end, we want to add in a minus x2. Add into your x and y value and uh, in this case since uh, the, the side of our tower is about 10 meters I want to start off at that at that value as well and so we can then add this in here and now we have the uh, proper size uh, we want to get ourselves a boundary edge boundary surface in this case that. Uh, next up, we want to to add in a surface which which will match this one here. And to do that, we just need to come into here and go into our surface, go into plane, and go to rectangular plane corner to the corner and add it there. And yes, let's assign it into our grasshopper. So set one surface like that. Uh, next up, we want to get ourselves an explode. Place our surface into into there, and uh, let's add in a list item. List item. Place in our not not our segments, but our vertices. Okay. And now we want to add in a brep up here, and we want to select multiple breps since we want to select the entire the entire uh, tower 
me just do that one, one, more, one more time and simply deselect our base surface, which is down here. Get a solid union to bring them all together, like that. We can now hide most of these now, we won't be needing them visibly. Now let's add in a scale value. We want to place in our geometry into here and our factor into there. Uh, actually, pardon me. We want to add in our center into there, and to and to get and to get our factor, the value I, f I found that uh, works best would be the division, and let's. Divided by 10. Let's place it into our into our factor, which should work out nicely. Uh, okay. Let's also hide this one now. Let's bring this over over here. And now to bring it all together, let's add in an orient. Let's place in our geometry into there. Let's add in this surface as our source and our boundary edges to our, to our target. Okay, and that's how we set up our uh, turrets. This one's kind of high, so I might make a scale 1D of this tower. Bring it down a little bit. About there. Should do, should, should do just fine. Let's group these all in. We can now uh, hide this one, pardon me, hide this one, this one, and this one. And I'm gonna name this one the Tourette's. 